So let's take a look at this picture and figure out all the different pieces of information that this picture tells us. Um, so what are some of the pieces of information that we can get from this, uh, this here that we might plug in someplace else? What does it tell us about the various variables we've been talking about? Um, that f is going to be less than zero. And how do you know that? Because it's uh, diverging. Check that on your table in the handout. It's convex lens. Which means it's So the point to the convex lens? Right here. Diverges and f is less than zero. This picture here? Yeah. Yeah. Now is this a lens or a mirror that you're pointing to? This is a mirror. I'm sorry. Yeah, so let's look at the lens. lens. F is greater than zero. Because it's converging. 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 Okay. So yeah, let's make sure the how to use the table is clear. Yeah. Just put it in the box here. Sure. Good. No, it's good to have those labels. It should be clear these are mirrors because they only have one surface, and a lens has two surfaces. But it's good to put that in. All right, so we're over here, and we've got a converging lens. Okay. So what does that tell us about f? f is greater than zero. Good. Now, it's good that you didn't think that that told you about i, yeah. because this is a property of the device. Correct. All right, is there anything else that we can get from this picture? Um, that we have a virtual image? Yeah. And what, what information does that tell us mathematically? Um, that the image distance will be negative. Right. How do we know it's virtual? Well, the image is on the left, and the outgoing light is on the right. Also, the image is formed by the tracebacks. Those are our two definitions of a virtual image. So that tells us that i is negative. Notice again that f and i can have completely different signs. All right. Is there any other information about any other variables that we could put here based on this picture? Yeah. What, what variable does that tell us about? And what does it tell us about it? It tells us about m. Yeah. What does that tell us about m that it's upright? m is uh, positive. Yeah. The fact that this is an upright image tells us that m is positive. OK. Well, there's still one or two other pieces of information we can squeeze out here based on just looking at this picture. And then that, that it's magnified because the uh, image is bigger than the object. You can see the image is bigger than the object, so it's magnified. Now, which of the variables does that tell us about? M as well. M again. Well, we already said something about M. What, is the, what, is, what else do we know about M now? The magnitude is um, greater than, uh, is it greater than one? Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty intuitive convention. A magnified image is a, a big magnitude. So the dot here is for the magnitude. OK. And then the one last thing, what's the sign of O? Um, what's the sign of the object distance? Yeah, because we said the object distance is always positive unless sometimes when you have multiple lenses. Well, here we only have one lens or mirror, so we know automatically here that O will be positive. So we can plug that in. So there's a whole heck of a lot of different pieces of information we got here. We got signs for F, O, and I, all the different things in this equation here. And also, even though this particular equation doesn't have M in it, we still need to know how to interpret M as well. And M is even more complicated because it has both a magnitude and a sign that have two different pieces of information in them. OK, good. All right, so that's a good exercise to go through uh, on this uh, picture. It would be good homework to erase what we just did and do that all over again and make sure you can get those uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, I guess we got five separate pieces of information here. Let's try to do the same thing with this picture. What are the different pieces of information we can get out of this picture? That F is uh, diverging. What's that tell you about F? It's less than zero. Yeah, this is what picture of a diverging mirror if you look at your table. So f is negative. All right, that's one piece of information. And um, the object uh, distance is positive. Because there's only one mirror. Good. Notice how I have to put a curly Q on the O so it doesn't look like a zero. And. It's going to be uh, magnified, so the magnitude of M is greater than 1. OK, now why do you say the image is magnified? How do we tell whether the image is magnified or shrunk here? And this is not something we should try to predict. We should just look and see. So point to the object um, right here, and point to the image. So is the image magnified or shrunk? I'm sorry, it's, um, it's sh shrunk. Right. 
So just by looking at the picture, all that magnified and shrunk means is a magnified image is an image that is bigger than the original object. Okay. And a shrunk image is an image that's shrunk smaller than the original object. So I think we decided this would be shrunk? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, what, what variable does that tell us about? It tells us about the magnitude of M. And what does it tell us about that? That it's uh, less than one. Okay. Good. All right. So there's just one or two other pieces of information. And then, uh, that, uh, once again, M is positive because it's right image. just by looking at it we can see these two arrows are both pointing up. All right, one more thing. And, uh, What's the one very it, that it's a, a virtual image meaning the image distance is negative. How do we know it's virtual? Well, the outgoing light is on the left, but the image is on the right, the opposite side, or the other way is the image is formed by the trace specs, which always means virtual. Okay. All right. Uh, it would be a good homework exercise. It would be a good exercise to do the same thing all over again for this picture, but uh, to save time, we'll leave that for homework. All right, but it's important to be able to uh, uh, squeeze as much information as you can out of the picture. Okay, uh, you have this in your notes now? Erase this. Okay, so uh, then we're ready. All right, so this is the lens mirror equation. Um, and there's another important equation, which is the magnification equation. So here's the magnification equation. Uh, so let's make sure we know what all these variables stand for. Uh, M is for magnification. Uh, what, what does I stand for? Image distance. Yeah, and the O? Object distance. Right. By the way, to be clear, when we say the image distance, we mean the distance between the image and the lens or mirror. And when we say the object distance, we mean the distance between the object and the lens or mirror. And when we say the focal point distance, we mean the distance between the focal point and the lens or mirror. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's important to put this negative sign in here to get the correct uh, answer. So we'll put that negative sign in here for the uh, magnification. All right. Um, so let's do a little bit of uh, logic here. Suppose we have a real image. Wh which variable does that tell us about when we have a real image? Good. And what does it tell us about the I? Whether it's positive or negative. Yeah. Good. So which one would this be? Um, if we have a real image, is that a positive? Positive. Yes. Not too hard to remember because real is a positive sounding word uh, as opposed to virtual. Now, what impact is that going to have on this equation here? If I is positive, is M going to come out positive or negative? Negative. Because we know that O is always positive for any single lens system. So we're just talking, thinking about a single lens system. If we're thinking about a single lens system, O is already positive. And if you put in a positive number here, then the negative sign makes the whole thing negative. Now, what does it mean when M is negative? How do we interpret that in words? What does that tell us about the outcome when we see a negative M? What's our interpretation of that? That it's inverted. The image is inverted. Good. Let's suppose we have a virtual image. What variable does that tell us about? I. And it tells us that I is negative. All right. And then what does that tell us about M? If we look at the magnification equation, if I is negative, what's going to be the result on M in this equation? This denominator here is always positive for a single uh, lens. So if you put in a negative number and then take its negative, you'd end up with something positive. And what does it tell us when M is positive? That it's an upright image. OK. Well, this might not have seemed like uh, the most fascinating uh, series of logical steps in the world, but we've actually gotten something very interesting. We just showed that real images are always inverted. 
We've just seen that real images must always be inverted. And all of these logic steps would reverse. So that means that inverted images are always real. Real and inverted basically always go together. Real and inverted always go together. And similarly, we've proven that virtual images must be upright. And upright images must be virtual. The only uh, exception to this is if there was multiple lenses. Because with multiple lenses, this doesn't have to be positive. But that comes up pretty rarely. So as long as you're thinking about a single lens or mirror, real is always inverted and virtual is always upright. This is a big time saver uh, because that way you don't have to do all the math to figure out whether something's real or, or upright. Once you know it's up inverted, you automatically know it's real and vice versa. So this is a good thing to just commit to memory so we don't have to go through all this math here. 